Welcome back friends this is Ram here and it's for tip tutorial on Java FX8. In this tutorial we are going to see how to create a checkbox and save checkbox labels or value into the database. So let's begin with it. So it is it's 40 tutorial on checkbox and GitHub's. so now we are going to create one field in the database with the name hobbies and we are going to save hobbies of the user using a checkbox so hobbies open your SQLite manager go into the structure and create a new field with the name hobbies type text and add a column to the database so this is the new column we have created for the hobbies now we are going to save the hobbies like playing dancing or singing or anything else you can add with the checkbox so next is I'm going to create one more table for the hobbies one more column for the hobbies so next is the column so this is the tenth column Obes. and add this column to the table now save now next we are going to add the checkbox so I'm going to create checkbox say private checkbox see checkbox one It's the import for a checkbox. And to save these checkbox values, that is checkbox labels, into the database, I'm going to create one more observable list. Of type string. checkbox list so the values of this checkbox we are going to add into the checkbox list that is into the observable list area of observable list now declare this into the application so first checkbox 1 equals to new checkbox and uh, say this is the first hobby say like to playing any games next we are going to create same 
two more hobbies. Singing. And dancing. Save. Now we are going to save these values into the database. Now to save these values into the database, we are going to create one more field into the user class for hobbies. So come to your user class and create one more field for hobbies so simple string property for hobbies add into the constructor of type hobbies and finally create getter and setter method for the hobbies so get hobbies return hobbies dot get Similarly, create a setter method set hobbies we have created one more field for hobbies into the user class so add this hobby to the refresh table class so whenever we add any user so it will automatically add its hobby into the database now next is to save this hobby into the database so come to the checkbox now write one action method for the checkbox so check box one dot set on action so I'm going to declare with it with a lambda expression and whenever this checkbox one is clicked or selected we are going to save this checkbox value into the database so to save that value into the database we are going to add that value into the checkbox list that is observable list which we have created so checkbox list dot add add the value of check box one dot get get the text of checkbox one and add that into the checkbox list similarly we are doing this for the other two so 
so replace this with the checkbox too so whenever we, whenever we click on the singing it will add the hobbies similarly checkbox 3 replace one with a three so when we click on dancing it will add the checkbox three value into the list now we are going to save this checkbox list into the database so come into the save action method of save button and add one more field into the query that is hobbies with one more question mark next add one more set string so that we can add the hobbies into the database so we are going to add that checkbox list into the database so checkbox list so this is the array type now we are going to convert this into the string so whenever we click on any hobbies that going to add into the checkbox list and the check we are going to save that checkbox checkbox list into the database with this field similarly add this field into the update button so when we do save or update anything it has to add into the database and similarly create a field into the string query for a hub so whenever query fire for the update it has to update for the checkbox list also so we are done with the coding now save this and check whether this is working or not so this is the new field which we have added into the database and so one thing is remaining that we have not added that checkbox into the our layout so come to the fields and add the checkbox into the So these are the fields which we are going to add into the layout. So checkbox 1, checkbox 2 and checkbox 3. Save this and then once again. So these are the new fields which we have added for the hobbies that is playing, singing and dancing. This is the new field. Now load the table. So these are the users previously we have added. Now we are going to update one of this user with the, his hobbies. 
so say tom these are the some previous credentials of the tom now we are going to add the hobbies of tom say tom's tom like uh, playing and uh, dancing now save this or uh, now we have we are going to update this as it is previously created so we are going to update the tom so there is an error with the updating so we are going to check that so this is the sql error near hobbies that is we have forget something into the so here here is the problem we have to add a comma before the hobbies so save again and run this once again load table we are going to change add hobbies of the tom so tom's like a playing and dancing now we are going to update the hobbies of the tom so update so as like the same so here we can observe that the hobbies of the tom has been added into the database so i will manage with the table for this so these are the hobbies of tom added into the database similarly we are going to create any user and add that users hobbies into the database for example john we are going to add the hobbies for the john say john like playing singing and dancing and update so here is the john and john likes playing dancing and singing so in the next tutorial we are going to see how to clear this and validation for the checkbox if you have any question or a problem about this tutorial ask me in a comment section or you can mail me on my email id that is alapureram at the rate gmail dot com this is my email id and finally if you found this helpful please like share and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching this video see you in the next tutorial